Welcome back, Young Jerks, on WEMF Radio. We, so we just got done to speaking with um, medicinal genomics founder Kevin McCarran. He's he's still in the studio, but we're gonna we're gonna move. Yeah, forward. And if gonna... you have any questions for him, oh, still yeah. going forward, you can uh, call him in six one seven five hundred seventy one hundred. That's right. That's six one seven five hundred seventy one hundred. Give us a call, and if you call and we don't talk to you right away, just wait. We'll come. It'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, and so Mike, uh, Mike, Mike, this week uh, was driving to work, and I don't know if you've heard yet, but uh, he made a phone call uh, into uh, Boston Herald Radio. Yes, to a uh, a, a, a lady uh, columnist by the name of Cohen. <laughs> you don't have a first name, Frankie. Jeanette? No. Adriana. Uh, Adriana Cohen, sorry. I wrote Cohen. I didn't write the left. The, you know? And Tom Shattuck, who, uh, you know, it's it's the co-hosted show. It's uh, Boston Herald Drive. It's also on uh, regular radio. I think it's like 15, 10 a.m. Okay. Um, and that's how I listen. There's not much to listen to in the morning. And uh, it's, you know how you, I don't know if, if you're like me, but. I call on the radio all the time. Yeah, I do all the time. I'm like a regular caller on their show. I used to always call on Dan Ray's show. Like, you know, I'm, I'm one of these guys that could be a guest on some of these shows, and I have been guest on yep. like a yep. lot of them, like even Dan Ray's show. But I'm also like a regular caller. And uh, I've never been on Boston Herald Radio except for, uh, um, what's his name, Michael Graham's show, Michael which Graham, isn't yeah. really f- with them. He was kind of broadcast by them after. That's, the I used to call Michael Graham's show yeah. all the time when I. Yeah. It was, it was just fun because he'd actually give you time. Yeah. You know, like you could actually sit and have a conversation with that dude. Other well, people, and we have some common things. Like you know, he's you know I, he's had we when we did a protest, he had me on that show to talk about the protest. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. he's at least. Uh, Open to progressives when it suits him, I guess. Yeah, he gave, he gave me time for end the Fed and stuff like that. When, yeah, low when, when we were doing the S twenty twenty eight stuff. He yeah. gave us time for that too. So, so anyways, uh, you know, we we're listening to Boston Herald Radio. I'm driving into work, and I've called into the show before, and uh, you know, I've said some things on the show, and then uh, Tom kind of you know laughed about it and put it down, and then I called him out on it next time, and because he was basically agreeing with me two weeks later. Uh, and, you know, he, he's a good... I like Tom because he gives you that kind of, like, you know, he'll let you go and he'll let you speak, and uh, it, there's kind of a respect there as a caller. And I really appreciate him in some respects because we've gone after him on this show, and, uh, you know, he's a guy I've also sent a resume to to be on Boston Herald Radio. I should have that disclosure, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, because he was Howie Carr's, you know, uh, he worked at WRKO during the Howie Carr era. He was, you know, I think the show producer over there. And uh, now he's running Boston Herald Radio. Mm-hmm. And so he does the show with Adriana. And uh, I call in, and this week uh, it was, uh, they were talking about Ferguson right after the shooting of two police officers. And uh, it was, you know, typical right-wing radio where progressives are all scumbags. <laughs> they caused it. They, they, they brought it the on. President Obama. Yeah. And they played an audio clip with this, you know, right at the shooting when these two police officers were shot, which is sad and disgusting. But, you know, um, Adriana and, and, you know, they're saying, don't jump to conclusions about things about Michael Brown. They're talking about Michael Brown, that case. When you don't know the facts... But then they're trumping this shooting that happened the night before. Mm-hmm. They don't know the facts. They, don't they have know no idea did. what happened. But all they do is they have a clip of some idiot saying, hey, you should have dealt with this you know, months ago, seven months ago. You know, and that's why you got shot police officer like, in their faces, you know, which is disgusting. I you mean, know? it is. It is, and, and I, I, it just. But to turn around and then say that the all progressives and Obama, it's your fault. You guys are all, and not acknowledge the fact that racism does exist in America, and that we just had evidence of it uh, with this OSU, Oklahoma State the University, the fraternity. Yeah. fraternity mm-hmm. That was disgusting. That you were excluding people based on race. Yeah, and and singing proud songs about it. You yeah, know? And, and being idiots about it. And getting expelled over it. It's, are, you know, are we going to say all fraternities now or all you know no. fraternal organizations are cut blanche no. racist? No, we're not. And we're, we're reasonable. And this is what I, I said on the show is like, you know, you're trying to paint me out that I'm defending Michael Brown. It's not about Michael Brown. Black Lives Matter is about the fact that black people are three, three, three and a half, you know, three, three times as likely to be arrested for marijuana, just yeah. for starters. Never mm-hmm. mind every other crime. Yeah. And walking put down in jail, the street, convicted. Um, Jail Eight times in other states, right? It's yeah. yeah, it's like for for everything is against them institutionally. And when when she turned, like you know, so we had a shouting match on the on the air, Adriana and I, basically. 
And when she started going with her crap, I just shouted her down. I, I've never done that on radio before. I, you know, it almost feels silly in a way. And I, I don't even think I was that strong on it. But the, the part that I really want to discuss today on the show is her response. Yeah. Which was, I don't want to hear from you. You're calling me decisive. At, you know, um, Divisive, yeah. Yeah, divisive. Because I called the divi- I said the show's being divisive of today. Of course. Mm. That's exactly what they It's red meat. Yeah. It's what the Herald does. Red yeah. meat. Red meat. Throw it to the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't feel like that about the other shows, like the Hillary Chabot show and Jackie Cashman. I think they're much fairer. Um, but when she, her response, again, was, um, how can you cry racism? When we have elected a black president, oh, and it was a majority of white voters who put him there. There you go. That's genius. So and nobody's it's like, racist against Obama. No. Nobody. What about the statistics that we mention that blacks are three times more likely to be arrested for crimes that than white people? That's because they're criminals. Yeah, These when, people are criminals. Don't when you they're understand? They're not criminals for drugs, for instance, marijuana use. This is a simple. You no, know, because it's common. Commonly, people use marijuana. For marijuana crimes, blacks are three times more likely to be arrested, except white people use it more. Right. Look yeah. around you. Like, I, I, I realized that growing up. I, I believed something from the media growing up because I didn't have much exposure to black people, to be honest with you, when I was about 15. And when I went to college, I realized that my white friends use drugs far more than my black friends that I had met in the city. Yep. And that city people actually are more, you know, they're more aware of the plight of drugs and, and, and they stay away from them in a lot of respects yeah. where the, the upper class and you know there's examples of this there's uh, Matthew Fogg who was a former um, DEA guy who has come out with Leap he's saying mm-hmm. that you know as a black man he said why don't we go to these rich suburbs and bust the drugs because yeah. we see them there and they said no because those, <laughs> those, you know, those people in those rich suburbs they know judges they, they're yeah. going to affect our funding they're going to turn the, the <laughs> politics I'll against make sure you us. never work in this town again. Right. And that's why they go to the inner city. And that's why they focus on the black. And when you don't acknowledge that, Adriana, when you when you question that uh, it's not American is what she said. Like It's not American? No, it's like she was saying, I hate these people who hate America. I think that if you don't acknowledge the reality of America, you hate America. That's the stupidest thing on the planet. <laughs> you know, like, race exists in this country. How can you? Am I in agreement? Is everyone in agreement? Uh, ra- race, racism exists absolutely. Yeah. Uh, racism is, is exists. I mean, you, I experience it all the time. You know, I mean, just in terms of like walking into a convenience store. You know, no, you it know, doesn't. We had a civil war. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the civil war we so won. According right? to her, you know, just trying to, you know, we, we were a point. You know, we had a civil war <laughs> and we elected a black president. And so, oh, yeah. you know, we're cool. It's a fairy tale. <laughs> I hate you that you hate America. Yeah. Meanwhile, you hate America because you know you look at the real America. I mean, I don't hate America. I want to make America better. Yeah. I think it's a great place, probably the best in the world, pretty much. I mean, you, I can't think of a better place to live in a lot of respects. But in some respects, it's awful. And, uh, you know, this is an example. When you turn around and say, oh, because we elected a black president, there is no racism. <laughs> There's a reason why people are protesting, and what I was calling you out on the divisiveness on your show. If you if you hear this, is the fact of it is is the people are there protesting because of opinions that you express. When you say there is no more racism, people are going to protest that they've had enough. They see it. They've seen their friends shot, family shot. Well, it's like spitting in someone's face. I mean, they know exactly what you're saying. They know it's not true. Like the people know that racism exists. People see it every day, and she sees it. She sees the racism. She, I don't she think knows. she does. Yeah, she, I, I think she's she in a little uh, bubble up there and it's, doesn't. It's, they don't get it. And ignoring. She's it. witnessing racism every single day, just like anybody else is. You know, it's it, it's just that's just red meat nonsense because that's what the listenership that they have wants to hear. Because if you look at like all of the comment sections and all and of the this stuff with the Herald, I know, it's right? all the most racist, just idiotic, moronic, just stupid filth that like shouldn't. You, we have a caller. Hello, yeah. caller. <laughs> but I think that's the point, is that we we expose it, and when we call into these shows, Frankie, uh, there is a ray of light, because there's an audience for what oh. we're saying, too. No, there is. There's there's a, we got a caller. We, we, we have the callers. I mean, we get the uh, listeners. We know that from the show. You guys can keep going. I don't mind. Oh, hey, Dan. <laughs> okay. I, we, was it you calling in earlier, too? No, I wasn't doing earlier. Oh. Right. So what's going on what's today, up, Danny? Dan? What do you think? 
Why about what? Everything you guys are talking about? Yeah, yeah that's the point. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> what do you think about this whole, uh, what Adriana was saying, what I'm saying? I miss what Adriana was saying, but I, I kind of wonder what you were saying. My God, I don't know. It's, I don't know, it's tough. Do you think race exists still in America? Do you think there's still racism? Or is racism gone because we elected a black president? White people voted for a black guy. Is, is it gone? Or oh, is no, it still- we, no, we still have racist 